Hello there and welcome back to more Grand Turismo 4. Today we'll continue on Let's Play. This is episode 136. In today's episode, we are taking a look at the Like the Wind Extreme event, which is, well, probably one of my favourite events in the game because, my god, you don't have to do anything. Anyways, today we've got to drive a very special car. <laughs> it's time uh, for the Speed 12. That was half a year. Got that reaction, as I love that. I love it, just, uh... That was half yawning, half me just jizzing everywhere. Because it's like the wind, which is easy. Look at this car! So you were performing the knackered ejaculation. <laughs> Anyways, we're literally probably not going to need to do much to this. Uh, 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 oh, oh. Oh, yeah, we are. Oh! oh. <laughs> yeah, we are. no! Yeah, we are. Yes. Oh. 1,062 horsepower. 82. Emil, did I mention that you are the most insane person on the face of this planet we and need... should automatically be wind... killed for it? Yeah. We need wind juice as well. We need 2,100 horsepower. You, you mean it's called, it's, it's called jizz juice, get it right? I'm also going to go for the racing hard tyres. It doesn't really matter because as soon as you see what like the wind is, there's no real point of caring about tyres. But there is one thing we need to care about, which is the fully customizable gearbox, which will help us out quite significantly. So let's add that, and then we'll take this thing for an oil change because power, and then it will be go time. But yes, I'm sure we've all been looking forward to this event. Yeah. yeah. Because like the wind, I think like the wind was one of our favorite events in Gran Turismo 3, other than when we tried to use the XJ220. That no, fuck off. The most hopeless car in the world. Yeah. Do you see why it didn't catch on now? Yeah. Look at the fucking. This color is magnificent. It's amazing. It's the best color you could have got. It's so weird. Well, it's a special color. It's the prize car TVR Speed 12. Anyways, you yeah, can't buy a Speed best. 12 for this if you can't be asked to go get the prize car. Anyways, like the wind, it's one race. It's also three laps. Yes. Five laps. Test course. Let's go. Mm. That's it. So, test course oh. for five laps. On like the 20 laps, I think it was in Gran Turismo 3. Yeah. Unlike in GT3, you do go up against race cars, but. Fuck them! Speed 12. Yeah. Their cars do not have speed in the name, unlike my car, which does have speed in the name. Oh, you can't get 100 power out of the nitrous. I'm gonna go to 20, because I don't want to overextend it too much. Maybe 21. Actually, no, do I want to... I want 2,200... <laughs> oh, yes, tap. Ocean dropped out because AFK room. Mm. You know this car makes peak torque at, like, 1,000 RPMs? Yes. I'm so scared. Oh, I didn't turn traction control, I don't think. Yeah. Oh, well. 83 points. Oh, oh yeah, I did. didn't. Oh, well. Still wheel spinning with five traction control on. Watch this. Watch this. Oh dear. Bang. And there we go. Power's starting to oh, kick in. What? There we go. There we go. It's there we yeah. go. Yeah, this is kind of the TVR experience. Yes. The five pathetic cars. Oh shit. Hello, pathetic cars. Sorry for insulting you. <laughs> Mate, you were just asserting your dominance. You were showing just how good you are. Yeah. I kind of want you to blast nitrous. Blasting Dude. nitrous. Blasting what? nitrous. Blasting nitrous! Um. God. Oh, oh. Uh, that's, that's 291 miles an hour. 292. 
You can do better than that. I need a slipstream. I'm gonna slow down oh. purposely. I need a slipstream here. He's back. Hello. Hello. You just missed something. Come on. I, I need you to get past me. I need to try this out. I want 300. What are you doing, Emil? Um, the, the TVR can doing. get a lot of speed, as it turns out. He got very fast. Unfortunately, I slammed into a salva just a couple of minutes beforehand. Alright, coming onto the straight. And... Really real blast. Engaging nitrous. Um, 295. It could probably do 300 with draft, but I can't get behind him for long enough. Oh. 290 fucking five. It's faster than anything ever made. Yes. <laughs> That's kind of cleaning my taint right now. Well, technically, yes. it would make it the fastest road legal car, I'd imagine, because I don't know if anything. Has anyone ever customized anything to go over 270? Eagle. No idea. But yes, in short, it's fast. I kind of pissed off I hit that Salber earlier because I probably could have maybe touched 300 there. So in short, you're like the wind. Yes. Like the wind. Do you know what? I'm so pleased this isn't a 10 lap race. Why? Because I'm sort of looking at my fuel consumption. Oh, yes. Oh. If it was a longer race, we might have issues. <sighs> Me and my TVR, we got issues. Don't know if I should fuel you or... You? You? What's the worst that could happen? Well, when Don't cruising speed is 260 miles an hour, you know something's good. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, that's good. We're 11 seconds in front of anything else. You know what my favourite thing about this is? What? The cars we're racing against cost 3.5 million. Do you know how much this cost? Nothing. During the TVR event and 35 grand and that was it. But yeah, there was no other car we could use for Like the Wind. I mean, come on, it's literally named The Speed 12. You have to use exactly. it. Exactly. It goes 12 speeds. I mean, I did use it in Gran Turismo 3, but I don't care. <laughs> it's The Speed 12. It's my rules. I can do what I want. Exactly. It's a different colour that makes it unique. We had a great idea. We, I mean, we used it in a great way in Grand Turismo 3, so... Yeah. We used it for the Polyphony Digital Cup. <laughs> because it was. fuck spending 10 hours driving stock WRXs when you can spend 7 hours just driving Speed 12. I'm gonna do the torrent. What? Thumbstick on throttle. Yeah, it's a lot more comfortable that way, trust me. It's not that it's more see. comfortable, it's the fact that I can just mount my thumb underneath the thumbstick on the controller. Yeah. Oh! Oh! Well done. They're all pitting! Why? Yeah, because they've, they've all got soft tyres, that's why. <laughs> so I could do this event in a stock Range Rover Stormer, is basically what he's saying. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah, I've literally just mounted my phone underneath the, uh, the thing now. God, it saves me pressing the X button all the time. Duh. <sighs> yeah, I'm a bit bummed. I need to come back to this event eventually and test what fucking actual straight line speed you can get out of Trevor. Yeah. Yeah. Because I'm curious. So I wonder if I could do like weight reduction to this or something. 
make it lighter and then power. That, I'm sorry, that's just a scary idea. Yeah, it well, is. Well, again, if I go off my assumption that nitrous, the power thing means how much extra power it makes. 50% extra power to this that already has a 1,100 horsepower is about... I think it was making around 1,600 horsepower with nitrous on. Yeah. I think that's a sensible assumption to make, so... It's like a Bugatti Veyron, but better in every single way. Yeah, I reckon it's about 1,700 horsepower. Yeah. That's scary. I like how if I had more nitrous, I could probably be lapping people by that. I wonder if Action Replay's yeah. got a cheat code for more nitrous. Who knows? That huh. could probably also help in this investigation. Uh, well, this is 787B going in. 58 seconds in front of the Audi. I'm assuming something's overtaken the Audi by now. Yep, yeah, there you go, Salva. We've got to beat the Salva by about a minute. Easy. Yes, yeah, it's not exactly a difficult event, is it? All you got to make sure to do is move your funnel about a bit because you don't want to be holding down the X button, especially when it's like yeah. 30 degrees outside or inside. And your hands are sweating like a motherfucker. Yeah. The Ford GT beat a 78MB. I don't know. Sure. Anyways. And for all that, you get 20 grand. So essentially, the car pays for itself, depending on what the price car is. Yeah. I mean, realistically, to do that event, you could probably even forego the supercharger and just do it stock, possibly. Yeah. Because you got to remember, all the race cars are running downforce as well, which doesn't help them out. <laughs> oh, hello, baby. Oh. I need oh, to make yeah. use of you. I like that. I like, really good I like wagon. this. I love the Nardo. I love it. Anyways, we will go visit the Nardo, and then I'll have to explain what's happening in the next couple of episodes. But yeah, I, I think I'm going to have to make Nardo. use of you. 94.5% completion now. As opposed to whatever it was before. Mm. The Volkswagen W12 Nardo concept car. Yep. Car that wasn't actually built. Which is a shame, because holy shit, look at it. It's yeah, exactly. It's like the Audi R8 if it was built by people who know what they were doing. Yeah. Uh, because it's not boring. <laughs> it's just it's so cool. It's so 90s, but with the Passat's face. It's so happy. Yeah, I'm gonna have to make use of you. Do not worry. Anyways, let's explain what's going on quickly. So, you might have noticed, we have one more extreme event to do, and that is Formula GT, which is 15 races. Um, very good reason why we can't do that at the moment. Um, every single car in this race is a Formula GT. You can do it without a Formula GT. You can technically do it with a 787B if you try hard enough, but we can't afford a 787B either. So, the Formula GT is a prize car, uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to continue on with the next batch of events and then we're going to come back to this. Speaking of the next batch of events, well, you can tell we're on the home stretch. Next time we're going to take a look at some of the endurances because uh, this is where I'm going to die, isn't it? Yes. Anyways, <laughs> that should be fun. We're going to be starting with the Nürburgring 4-hour endurance, so join us for that. Until next time, farewell.